Hey, um, Fremantle have been interesting, and the fact that you're in the coach's box is great. Not sure how much you can tell us, but we'll mm. push. They just had a nice, steady progression, and we were frustrated with the way they were playing early in the piece and their inability to perhaps go forward. They've got their game together. Um, and I'm interested to get your thoughts from what you saw. I mean, I know you were there just to, to observe the way yeah. their box functioned and how it communicated, but... Um, I don't know how much you can tell us. Yeah, well, they, well they, they'd, they'd won three in a trot coming into this game and it was a good opportunity into the bye the next week to, I, I suppose, to frank that form and to make sure that they maintain their momentum. So they're coming up against Melbourne side. They were calm. They were really... I, thought, I found them really respectful, really honest, a little bit... Um, they being the coaches, you mean, or the group? No, nah, the, the group. And, and, and I thought they were a little, they're a little introverted, the group. You know, they're, they're quite quiet, mm. the group themselves. But then when... When the whistle went, when the siren goes and they need to go to work, mm. they're tough. They're tough, they work hard, they work for each other. It was a pretty, it was a strong... Melbourne had their chances, they kicked themselves, yeah, had three shots on goal it's that they could have game. finished. Like it was a strange game. It was played in the, in the clinches. It hardly got to the outside mm. and they just out-toughed them. In and, and, and the ground ball, kicked the ground ball, a little bit of chaos, which, you know, which has not been the Freo that we've known, a little bit of composure as, or, or slower play from back half. The, the player that really stood out for me on the day was Luke Jackson. Mm. And yeah, was there much talk about that in the coach box? Nothing. He, his role changed a little bit at times. He played Ruck Rover as well as Ruck. Well, nothing, nothing in terms of um, of out of the out of the blue. Like Sean Darcy, uh, hammy injury, twelve yeah. minutes in the second quarter, he came out. So Luke Jackson had to play even more as the Ruck, and, and um, yeah, Josh Tracy yeah, was that. the one that played as the second Ruck role. But I thought Jackson's energy and intensity. I think it, it tells you a lot when you come up against a group of players that you've played with in the past and he's had success with. He was able to... He, he threw himself into the contest. We saw his best in the air and then follow up. He, I, I thought he, he, um, he won contests to give his smalls a chance. He, he battled really hard in the air. I, I, I thought his performance was really he, meritorious. You made a good point. So coming against his old premiership teammates, he's a younger player. Did you sense any anxiety? Nothing. Yeah, pre-game from him. No, nah, nothing. And yeah. and it wasn't it wasn't overtly focused on. It, it, but they just they just went about their business, Freya. It wasn't as if they over focused on the oppo or blew up anything in particular. It was just really even performance, which shows the, you know, I suppose their belief in themselves. They weren't over the top and they weren't down. They were, just, they were just really even and honest. And you look at the way he left his club and you look at the way Rory Lobb leaves his club. So in the next time Lobb comes back and plays, it's, you know, there's a level of antagonistic... You know, there didn't seem a lot of good will. No. Mm. But uh, there's no bad will I think Freo, Luke Jackson. I, I think Freo had learned a lot from the way that they handled that, the Rory Lobb situation. Mm. Yeah, but there was and never going to go... go yeah. no, well... It wasn't going to come back from Melbourne's way in the same manner. No. They weren't going to go after Luke Jackson. There wasn't any antagonism towards no. him. It's a, it's a shame Darcy got injured because, geez, what a weapon to have. You're yeah. playing as the old fashioned Ruck Rover goes. Yeah. So that was really dangerous here in the game.